Hello and welcome to HD Calx. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can take screenshots as well as save them and recall them for later use on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the Shift key that looks like this, located here, the 7 key with the Shift function of Capture that looks like this, located here, the Menu key that looks like this, located here, as well as the F1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 keys that look like this, located across the top here. Taking a screenshot on this calculator is a great way to save your work and be able to refer back to it later. For example, let's say we did an equation, something easy for the first example, and wanted to save a screenshot of that. Well, once it's on our screen, all we do is press Shift 7 with the Shift function of Capture and that brings up this screen here. This is asking where do we want to store this screenshot in memory slot 1 through 20. So we can store 20 screenshots on this calculator. Let's put this in number 1. So we put 1 on the screen and hit EXE. Our screenshot has now been saved. Let's save a second one. This time, how about a graph? So if we go to the menu, scroll over to our graph app, and see we already have x squared enter here. So we highlight that and view our graph. Again, we can screenshot that with the Shift 7 to bring up our screenshot menu. And if we try to save that in a memory slot that already has something in it, like our number one, we'll see this saying capture one already exists. So we already have something stored there. Do we want to overwrite it? We can either choose yes or no. For us, let's say no. So we hit F6 to go back and then Shift 7 and we'll store that in number two. There we go. Now we have two screenshots saved. If we want to find those screenshots to view them, what we do is go to our main menu and scroll down and over to memory. Highlight that and hit EXE. That brings us to our memory manager screen and we want to go to F2, our storage menu. There we go. Here's our storage memory menu. And we see the folder at the top here, CAPT or Capture. That's where all our screenshots are stored. So we highlight it and select it with the EXE. And now we can see our two screenshots. We have Capture 1 and Capture 2. If we want to view it, we can just highlight it and press the right arrow, which first brings up the details telling us the size in bytes of the screenshot, as well as the size in dimensions. If we press right again, we see our screenshot. There we go. That's what was on our screen when we saved our first screenshot. And if we scroll down, we can see our second screenshot. There's that graph. We can go back to the menu with the left key. Let's say we are done with these screenshots and want to get rid of them to make more room on our calculator. We can either overwrite them with a new screenshot, or if we just want to delete them, we press F1 to select them, and you see the arrow appear beside it. And if we just want to delete that one there, we hit delete. It'll ask us to delete all selected data. We've selected the one we want to delete, so we hit F1 and that screenshot has been deleted, but we still have screenshot number two, our graph. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful.
If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.